If you work in a shop, you know it's all about speed. So when I put a tire back onto a car, I use an impact with a torque stick. So in today's episode of Tool Demos, I'll show you why they work and how I use them. Stick around, that's coming up next. I'm doing a tire rotation, so I'm gonna be taking off these wheel nuts with just a regular impact socket. There are two types of torque limiting tool sets. This is a torque limiting socket set and it goes from 19 to 24 millimeters. Some sets are torque limiting extensions and you have to use your own sockets. So aside from cutting power from your impact, they make a pretty good xylophone. The reason for that is each one of these sockets has a different diameter and that diameter is directly related to how much torque they can put out. On the truck that I'm working on, I've got a 22 millimeter wheel nut, and these are my 22 millimeter sockets here. I'm gonna go with this one, which limits the torque to 100 foot-pounds. You can see also 135 Newton meters. I can get those threads started with the socket and I can just do that by hand. It's started now so I can run them in with the impact. You can hear it as soon as they're bottomed out, the impact will start hitting. That's when I stop. It really just takes fingertip pressure to get it started. And then running them down really quick. This goes really quick when you're using an impact, but you can do it safely knowing that you've got a limiting device here, either a socket or an extension. So now I can drop the vehicle and use a torque wrench to get these wheel nuts torqued properly. I use that torque limiting socket to get these wheels tight enough to safely put the vehicle back on the ground. Now that it is, I can tighten up those wheel nuts with this torque wrench and the wheels won't spin while I'm doing it. This torque wrench is from Precision Instruments. This is a split beam torque wrench. The way that it works is you open up this lever which unlocks the scale and then you dial that scale to the torque setting that you want. You just lock it back in and now it's ready to go. One of the cool parts about that is that you can just leave it there at that torque setting. You don't have to zero it out like you do with a micrometer torque wrench. This wrench is available on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out for yourself. We're gonna watch this socket to make sure it turns just slightly before the torque wrench clicks. If it does, we know that the torque limiting socket did its job and didn't over torque these wheel nuts when we installed them. There you go. Perfect. 